The admission fee at an amusement park is $2.50 for children and $5.40 for adults. On a certain day, 259 people entered the park and the admission fees collected totaled $981. How many children and how many adults were admitted? So this is from last time. We've got to be able to write both equations for this system and then solve it. Okay. So this one's going to set up since they gave us two totals, well, there's a total, and it didn't say it was a total number of people, but it is. We're going to set these both up in standard form. So I'm going to have my X column, my Y column, and then my totals column. The two things we're looking for, X and Y, are defined by the two things that it wants us to find. How many children and how many adults? So I'm going to say X, not that it matters which is which, but I'm going to say that X is number of children, and then Y is the number of adults. And it's okay to start with those two definitions too, okay? Now, since this is a system, we need two equations. One of them one of the totals was based on people, and the other equation is based on dollars, so fees collected. I'm just going to put money. So people. In terms of people, the X column represents children. How many children enter the park? We don't know the exact value, but we have defined it as X. And how many adults enter the park? Y, Y number of adults. If we add these two together, then we get the total, which it told us was 259. Well, that's just the equation for number of people. That doesn't account for the cost, but we're going to. So for children, it tells us right here that the cost for children was $2.50. So let me give myself some more space. I got $2.50 for every child. If I take $2.50 and multiply it by the number of children, that tells us how much money was collected from children's tickets. I don't want to say collected from children because that sounds bad. Uh, yeah, so for adults, which is Y, let me give myself some more space again. We know that it was $5.40 for every adult. And then we have a total amount of money that was collected, $981. Well, since uh, elimination was one of the days we were gone kind of thing, I am going to use elimination. But first, since I hate decimals so much, and you guys do too, I'm going to get rid of the decimals first. Yeah, now technically we don't have to get rid of the decimal. I just am, because most people hate decimals. And so we can multiply this entire equation by 10. If you wanted to multiply by 100, it would still get rid of the decimals. Now be careful, a common mistake on the test is people will only multiply these two numbers by 10 and not the total. We have to multiply all the numbers by 10. So that would give us, so this is our new system. After doing that, we didn't do anything to that top equation yet. All right. So if I multiply that top equation by, well, let's, let's choose, let's choose. Which, which variable do we want to eliminate first? The x. The x. Let's choose x then. So I need the coefficients of x to be the same but opposites. So I'm going to need to multiply this top equation by 25, but I need to make it negative so, it, so it's the opposite. Yeah, very good. So that gives us a new system. I got negative 25x. So I multiplied it by the x. Now the y, negative 25y, equals negative 25 times 259. I don't know what that is off the top of my head. And we didn't do anything to the bottom equation that time, so it stays. So there we go. 25. Now we're going to add each of these columns together. 
which hopefully we'll notice then, negative 25 plus that 25x, these cancel out and become zero, which is what we wanted. That's why we call it elimination. We eliminated it. Negative 25, we got these y's. Negative 25 plus 54, that would be 29. And this equals 9810, uh, negative 6,475 plus 9810. 33, 35. Thank you. And to solve for y, we're just going to divide both sides by 29. Which is 115. Thank you. So why is 115? And then plugging it up top. Very good. For people. Yes. So. 159 minus 115. Yeah, if we use this equation, x plus y equals 259. But we're, we see that y is 115, so we're going to replace it in that equation. You could have used the other one as well. And when we solve this one, we're going to subtract 115 from both sides. And x equals 144. Now here's the thing is we should interpret this, right? We did solve, but since this was a word problem, there's a little bit more attached to this. From this problem, we can see at the top, x is number of children, so this would be 144 children And then y is the number of adults. Mm -hmm. Times 450. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, if you stop right here on a test, you're taking a risk. Okay? And I just notice, all right? Most people that don't check, well, I, I, I don't want to say that. People that don't check, you, again, you're just taking a risk. You should use the other equation, this one, to check. Replace both the x and the y in there, mm -hmm. and just make sure that it gives you another true statement. Mm -hmm. If you're not going to check, just do, all right? 